Now that we have our application structure, let's go ahead and build out a base page that we can then use as the basis for all of the other page implementations on the site, including things like the home page, content pages, article pages, and so on. So here's a uh, home page that I put together for the AMCAS demo site, uh, and we're going to go ahead and implement a base page that has the header as well as the footer of this page, and we'll be using those across all of the pages on the site. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is jump into our IDE and create a base page component. So let's go into apps, AMCAS demo components page, create a new folder. We're going to call this base page. Within this, we're going to create a XML file to define the properties of this node, con content.xml. Since it's a page implementation, it's a CQ component. JCR title will just be AMCAS demo homepage. Component group will be dot hidden so it doesn't show up in the sidekick. Sling resource super type is going to be foundation components page. And this allows us to leverage a lot of the out of the box functionality provided by CQ uh, within their page abstraction. So the next thing we want to do is take a look at this implementation to see what we need to overlay. So I'm going to jump over into CRXD Lite and navigate to libs foundation components page. So here, here we go. I'll open the page.jsp. And it looks like the main things we have to focus on are down here. Uh, it's an overlay of the head.jsp and body.jsp. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the head.jsp. Uh, this just defines the head. Um, as well as includes some special uh, includes that have JavaScript and CSS required for the, uh, the AEM authoring interfaces. So let's start with this. Let's jump back to my implementation of the AEM cast demo page. So this is the HTML for it. So I'm going to simply just copy the head block, jump back into my IDE, and create a head.jsp. And I'm going to simply copy in the contents here. Um, there's a few things we need to do first. Uh, we need to uh, inject the title of the page here. So let's go ahead and uh, pull that out. I'm going to make a section called page properties, page title. And because we're including our AMCAS global.jsp, it injects the uh, current page object which we can get the page title from. And same thing, we have a description down here. We'll want to grab the description. And now we have the title and description. Uh, now we can simply print those out here, and we'll have them ready to go. One thing to note is these are not access as protected, so we'll want to do that just to make sure any authorable content is um, treated properly to prevent any sort of malicious code. So we'll use the out-of-the-box XSS protection provided by AEM. So I'll make a little section here, services, and we'll pull out our uh, XSS API. And since it's a service, we have to use sling.getService to get it. We'll pass it the class. And we'll also need to import this class. So let me jump over here and include it. All right, here we go. And now all we have to do is say xss.encode for HTML, pass it our title, and it will be encoded. And we can essentially do the exact same thing uh, for the page description. So the next thing we want to do is make sure we copy down the includes from uh, the foundation head. So I'm going to jump back to CRXD light here. And I'm going to copy down these three CQ includes and paste them in here. Uh, I'm going to delete the stats.jsp. This has uh, some uh, more or less legacy code around impression import or imp impression tracking um, as well as multivariant tracking, uh, but typically they're not used. Um, so I encourage you to get rid of this unless you know for sure that you need it. Uh, the next piece here is this headlibs.jsp, and by convention, this is where all of these, or any of these CSS or potentially JavaScript would be included uh, for the, this base page. Um, so if we jump back to the 
foundation page and look at the implemented head libs here, um, we can see that we are including a handful of things already. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and copy these down. And I'm going to make a head libs of my own. Headlibs.jsp. And I'll just simply copy these in. Um, so we're including the foundation main, we're including some cloud services, uh, we are, we're also including uh, the current designs uh, CSS, uh, and this has some things like the padding to find in parses, etc. Um, so we'll want to keep that as well. Um, the last thing we'll want to do, get rid of this import statement that's empty, uh, we'll want to move over our style sheet includes here. So I'll just go ahead and delete those out of this for now to keep it clean and I'll simply paste them in here. Of course, we want to pack these together into a single client library. So there's only one uh, request for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and say CQ include client lib. Since it's just CSS, I'm going to use the CSS uh, attribute. And this is going to be ancast demo dot all. And now we wanna make sure that these four CSS files are included within our uh, AEM demo, or AEM cast demo all client library right here. Um, so this is simply a proxy for collecting and packing all of the CSS and JS provided in the demo main and demo components. So I'm going to actually add these CSS files to our main, uh, our main client library. So let me go ahead here. I'm going to make a CSS folder and I'll drop over to my file system. And Pick out the CSS file, and I also need to make sure that I list all of these CSS files as well in my CSS.txt. So let me just go here, and I have to do them in the proper order. So I'm going to say uh, reset.css, text.css, 960, and finally my styles for my site. So here we go. And we can now get rid of these because these are these four are now included in the AMCAST demo all. Let's go back to the head. And we should be about set. Next up is the body. So let's jump back to the page implement or the foundation pages body.jsp to see what we have to do there. Let's open this up. Uh, this is fairly benign. All it does is have a body tag. Um, so we'll need to implement on top of this. So let's jump back here. Let's go to our base page. We are going to create a new JSP. We're going to call it body.jsp uh, to overlay. Get rid of the blank import for now. And then we'll just want to go ahead and copy back in um, all of this content here from opening to closing body tag. So there we go. The items that we want consistent throughout all our pages are going to be the header uh, through the horizontal rule. Um, and from the body up, we from the end of the body, we want up to this horizontal rule above the footer. So I'm going to basically just go ahead and remove everything within page content. Uh, since this is going to be customizable on a per page basis and replace it with an include for a script called main.jsp. And so all of our uh, implementing pages will simply need to have a main.jsp that defines how the content should be displayed. <clears throat> the last thing we need to do is uh, include the jQuery JavaScript here. So we're going to again always use a client library. We're going to select JS. And again, we want to leverage our AMCast demo all, since this is going to be uh, a library that's required on every single page of our site. Um, we also have to come down here and make sure that we are actually including our, our jQuery. Uh, and we are not yet, so I'm going to go ahead and make a JS folder under our main again. And just like we did with the CSS, come in here and copy this in. And again, we have to make sure that it's included in our js.txt file so it's loaded properly. 
So there we have it. Now we have a uh, area here uh, that can be overlaid uh, in further more specific page implementations, but we have a consistent header and footer. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do is create a main.jsp and this will actually never really be used and it's more for debugging purposes. Um, so let me just go ahead and say main.jsp <coughs> go to the import and we'll just say uh, the base page main.jsp override please. All right, so now let's go ahead and see if we can build and install this package and see what it looks like. Uh, normally, you would never actually view the space page uh, implementation. I actually created a special uh, page within my local instance to verify that it's working. So we should see the header, the footer, as well as uh, some text in the middle that says the base page main JSB uh, override, please. So let's go ahead, jump into CQ. And here's my uh, sample page. Let me go ahead and open this up. And there we go. We have our header up top. We have our footer along the bottom. And we have our uh, dummy content in the middle for the base page. And moving forward, when we create new uh, page templates, we'll be able to replace this with uh, the various content we want, as well as the various layouts that we want.